Hey guys, welcome back. Sun is shining. Beautiful day here in Illinois, about 80 degrees. So I thought I'd take you through a couple things with the throw out bearing and the slave cylinder. Uh, as far as retrofitting the slave cylinder from a third gen Camaro uh, to work with the hydraulic throw out bearings that are offered uh, to get away from a hydraulic uh, traditional clutch fork and uh, that that type setup and it'll work with 4AN lines. Okay, so in the last video, we talked about the bell housing and then I showed you the, uh, it was the How Racing Enterprises the hydraulic throw out bearing and I showed you the lines that were going to be used these here for the, the also how racing got this through how racing the remote bleeder lines that will hook up to the hydraulic throw out bearing so what I wanted to show you today is this is the assembly that goes through the firewall. It actually sits like this. This part that I'm holding in my hand would be in the firewall area. And this piece here is what connects to the clutch linkage pedal, this piece here. So what I did was I went online and I looked for a replacement piece. I've got the hose tucked in here right now so that it's not leaking brake fluid. But, uh, take that out of there so what I had done was there is a stock line that runs to it would be I think it went I'm trying to remember the stock line went to the slave cylinder that's correct so the stock line went to the slave cylinder from here so that when the pedal pressure is applied the fluid is pushed because this hose just connects up to the master cylinder for the clutch fluid, which is just, you know, dot three brake fluid. So what I did was just took a punch, drove this pin out. This is just in there loosely, so I don't lose it. And then just retained the pin. And once this pin was out, there was a separate piece that looks similar to this. This here is the Earl's fitting that I found. And it is, that's the part number there. This is the part. And the one that came out of there looked just like this from this, this part down to the left. But this is what's going to make this work is a 4AN fitting that's going to connect right into the hoses that I've got that will then connect into this, the hydraulic throw out bearing. So that screws right onto there. And I will do that. But this just pushes in like that. You can hear it actually click in. You, I'm gonna, I'll drive the pin down through there and then this will just get all put back into the car. And when we're ready to hook the, get the transmission in, just take the lines, connect them up. And I think what I might try to do is, might try to bleed the hydraulic throw out bearing. I don't know, I don't know. I was thinking about how to bleed the hydraulic throwing throw out bearing and get the system you know, purged of air the best I possibly can before everything is installed, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. So, um, but yeah, let me, uh, let's go to, uh, getting this back in the car here. All right. So this is a firewall area where you can see this, uh, this assembly I'm do my best to show you here. Just simply slides right back into here.
you get the line, run the line back up here. This is a little difficult one-handed. But just get this line run back up into here towards the master cylinder, which is right there. And we should be all set. There we go. All right. Bingo. All right. All right, so from inside the car, this is where we push that assembly through the firewall. And this is your clutch pedal here. This is simply going to try to give you some good light here. This piece here is going to connect right up to that assembly there. You can see that. So the one thing I do have to work through is when we were removing it. Let's see if I can get you in focus here. This is the clip that goes inside the circle of this piece here and it, a couple of the tabs did break off so i'm gonna have to work through that see if maybe we put like a c clip or a retaining clip on the one end but uh it's pretty simple so that's all i'm going to show you about that it's it'll be difficult for me to do this one-handed anyway so we'll be back in just a minute all right so there it is uh mounted back up I don't know if you can see in there. I'll try to get you a shot. I've got one of the 4-4AN lines from that kit already connected into the uh, fitting and then just run up to here where I'm going to put a piece of tape on it so no debris gets into it. But then I'll take you around to the inside and show you real quick where that's where the that's where it comes through and then you just simply put the bolts back on that are here and I'm sorry the nuts and you're done so that's pretty much it get those started and then get get that tightened back up and it's done All right, well, there you guys have it. Like I was telling you earlier, it's a quick install. Um, I gave you the part number for the Earl's fitting. That's if you want to reuse the third gen Camaro um, master cylinder into the slave cylinder. Uh, there is, you just got to drive that pin out, like I said, or order that Earl's piece, and then you replace it with that, and then you would put that uh, throw out that uh, bleeder line kit. Uh, the dash four. So appreciate you watching. Uh, looks like you got a new subscriber or two here. So I'll take it. And uh, I appreciate everyone who watches. Uh, if you could subscribe, like, and comment and uh, anything that you'd like to see or any changes that you'd like me to make. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to make this as best I can. Uh, I'm new to this whole thing and editing uh, videos. So I appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.